Hello you people watching go for games This is another episode of me playing games on my iPad. Um, today we'll look into Puzzle Agent HD, uh, the first episode of it. There is a second one too, but we're doing it right from the start. Puzzle Agent HD is one of my absolutely all-time favorite classics whatever on the iPad. I played it multiple times, the replay value for myself is just so high. I love it. And it's um, based uh, on, on, on drawings by Graham Annabel, which uh, is the creator of the Grickle series, the Grickle comics, which you will find in the web and some of you might know it. It is a very own style of drawings which is apparently so so nice and so detailed and it looks awesome. Um, yeah, let's hop into Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent. And like I do with all the videos, I lower the cam a little that you can see me playing on my iPad while you watch the screen on the iPad. Oh, it has to turn around. Wait, it will do that soon. Now. Puzzle Agents. Mm, I will create a new game. Department of Puzzle Investigations. There's long cutscenes in the game, and they are amazing. The go whole game lives out of the story that is given, and the story is so damn good. Yeah, eat a sweet. Choo, 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 choo. Then over solving all the puzzles from the newspapers, I get tired. Off asleep. Everybody knows that, and uh, not much people are allowed to do that. Soon we will have the first puzzle in our hands that we have to solve by ourselves. Okay, Mr. Tethers, solve that riddle. That one has to be on the upper left. Yay, done. And after I've done a little and I think it's uh, well done and I found the solution, I have to submit it. Or I can get hints. I don't need for the first ones. But even after replaying it sometimes, uh, I need the hints from time to time. Top agent! Puzzle Research, this is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir, it's it's just, it's been... <laughs> it's yes, been just quite, quite some time. Some time. Uh-huh. 
Erasers? <laughs> the foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Scoggins. I'm on the plane to Scoggins. Agent of Puzzle Research. <clears throat> and there we are. As I said, loads of cutscenes and they are a delight. It makes the, the, the game so ambient. You totally get into the whole story and want to know what happened to these people in Scorgans and what happened to the damn Eraser Factory. Why did the Eraser Factory shut down and how the hell can you manage to open it up again? Because the White House needs its erasers. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature. Mm, it's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ ins thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. <laughs> the creepy man. I mean, it's not that difficult to make a puzzle game and to create puzzles which you have to solve, but I think it's very difficult to create a game where the graphic appeals you to, to, to go on for, forward and to have a story which perfectly fits into the puzzles and wait what that creepy man will do to me. That's amazing. Excuse me, I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yeah. And this is what happens if you get a riddle. Your notice papers, uh, including the pencil, pops up and then you get that small riddle part and the name of the riddle and, hey, do it. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles Nelson I see every day. self confident as much Not as he so. can. It's really just a, a matter of <laughs> trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, <laughs> you're going to pass two traffic lights. Um, this is still one of the easy ones. Let's just hop right into it. You can place these wood pieces on the field and he has to drive um, and pass by the traffic lights to get to the left lower button where the question marks are. So he's driving down then to the left through the first traffic light down again to the right through the second traffic light, down again to the left to the question marks and I go into submit it. And wait what happens now, it's... <laughs> it's funky. <laughs> I mean I know it. Tax dollars spend. 75,000 tax dollars. Accepted. I'm a good agent. Driving, driving, driving. And maybe you guess what happens. Must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh. 
I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sure from the first point of meeting someone that he likes me. I'm here to very investigate much. an incident. I don't think there's the people on this earth who he likes anyway. Do you know anything about it? No. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people? Th th this conversation is kind of the humor you get all the time. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Has <laughs> asks lots a lot of, of questions. questions. There's a stupid hat. <laughs> Thanks for Thank the tip. You. Thank you, yeah. Bjorn. <laughs> Discovered a fence. Could be the work of Stray. I don't. <laughs> yes, I think he has seen this in a film or somewhere to to speak on his dictionary device all the time. <laughs> it will make sense in Puzzle Agent Two. Perfectly. Puzzle Agent Two starts with something uh, about his recordings all the time. Um, if you want to get hints, you have to collect uh, chewing gums. Because Nelson can think better if he chews gums. Excuse me, you look... Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Oh, this is one I usually totally do wrong. There has to be a rubber band in the middle which uh, has no snake end and head, tail and head, so let's try. Yep, as you see there's a rubber band in the middle which is not a snake, I hope this is it. Oh, by, by, by the way, I just see I didn't change the title here. Plays Love, Hate and the other ones. This is still from yesterday in another game. Um, I will not start the recording because of that. I mean, over and over again. Now I'm just into it. And Solved. Now you read it in the title of the YouTube video oh that dear, I'm playing Puzzle Agent and not Love and Hate. Enigma, we need to... Baltimore Which is, by the way, a good game if you didn't watch the video from the yesterday whispers. about Love, Hate or and the no. other ones. Great game too. Let's talk to the receptionists. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I... Oh yeah, you're here about... We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. Hot uh, dish? Hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. <clears throat> so, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Yeah, it's just a nine where the contrast has been turned around. Still, still some of the easy puzzles. They will get harder. Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? 
Oh dear, our moose is cooked. Our Rest moose assured, ma'am, is cooked. The FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of. We like to double check them. <laughs> the faces, oh, the faces, while well, we are animated. It's easy. I have a tourist map of our so little much. town of Scoggins right here. Perfect. Now we got the card of Scoggins. Our we can Scoggins travel around places. Our Scoggins is the plant that supplies the Plus White House no with mobile. all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh yeah. Well, that'll happen. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? raccoons. Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. I'll leave her Thanks. here and well, show goodbye. you the entrance of the factory and to meet oh, that sheriff that me. before I stop and leave you no, to I can buy, buy that Dear, amazing game and play it on your own. Quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Thank God I will always find used gum anywhere around. Take it, Nelson. Take it. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got Everybody a map from the hotel dish. owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Get on the snowmobile. snowmobile and drive to the factory. This is the cart of that lo lovely Scoggins. And only the things that are red you can drive by now. There will be more. You will get to the Moose Ear dinner, to the Scoggins farm, to the lodge, to the fishing huts, the sheriff's station, nearly all the places on the map. But we're starting off at the eraser factory where the incident happened. The accident? Incident, whatever. Hi, Sheriff Bog. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh yes. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Taylor, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big important FBI boy. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh yeah, a big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. You got some photos, pictures. Yeah, and now you have to solve above the statements from these four people when the accident happened. And I'll show you how to get a hint. I have 11 chewing gums available and yep, want to take a hint. He started at 6, but did he start at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? 
Only one of this is possible. Hmm. Iggy is the right guy. I worked from six till I was relieved. I'm not into figuring this out now. That might take too long to collect all the things, and I just don't remember it. I can take a second hint, maybe. Just only for showing you. Come on, give me one more. Pop work the last shift, ending at midnight. That should solve the riddle. Uh, you get the shortest shift, three hours. And we were said that... Incident. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. So, pop is the last shift starting at 9 to 12, so it must be 8. We'll see. Yep. And now you will see I get less points. I get less points because I used hints. Yep. Three stars last. Still excellent. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm. Good point. Maybe they grew back. <laughs> okay, this this is it. I don't know what, what happens if I'm going there. Ah, this is uh, an overview of all the puzzles I've solved and fine. <clears throat> Just going back to the main menu. That was a sneak preview on Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent. Um, I totally recommend that game for buying. I had loads of fun and played it over and over again. There's even a second uh, episode of it, Agile Puzzle Agent, Puzzle Agent 2 HD. And if you have an iPhone or an iPod, you can even get the non-HD version for some cheaper money. Um, yeah. That's it. Over and out. Moss. Bye-bye.